Hi everyone, welcome to today's Valley of Unity and Heart Chakra series. This is like my favorite series because we're moving from the lower half of the body, which is all about like the earthly material realm to the heart chakra, which is the spiritual realm. And it's like the transition between the spiritual and the earthly. So the heart is like the best, like almost like train station of material and spiritual, best combination of both. And so what we're gonna do today is um, a lot of like heart opening exercises and all these things. And um, within the Valley of Unity, it's suddenly in the text of the Seven Valleys, it becomes like a lot more uh, detail oriented and, and a lot of different descriptions and analogies of like how we need to remove like differences. So based on the yogic chakra system, the heart is basically for one thing only. It's for like unconditional love. And you basically need to place God in that place, in this heart space, because anything other then God in this heart space, you're going to reduce your ability to love others. So if you say that I love my family, I love my friends, I love my lover from my heart, it's actually inaccurate. Um, you love them from the second chakra. If it's family, it's from the root chakra. Second, uh, lovers is from the uh, second and yourself is from the third, which is where our um, stomach muscles come from. But our heart is really meant for loving everyone else. So our ability to love everyone else, anyone else that we put in our hearts or anything else that we put other than God, which loves all of creation equally, the heart space is where it's able to thrive. And a lot of different like diseases like ischemic heart disease or like just any sort of heart valve sort of issue all stems from the ability of not loving God or not loving others. Like ischemic heart disease is literally the narrowing of the vessel. So it's like literally the way you love other people is like small. It's like shortened. So to keep the heart space open and just this vast space for you and God, that's what's like absolutely needed. So the key themes of this valley is singleness, penetrating vision, and sharing space and pavilion with God. All things stem from God. All differences stem from limited vision. Avoiding the gaze of appearance, purity of heart, obedience to God, and God is unknowable. So all of these different themes from the Valley of Unity, we're going to be incorporating into our physical body as we do this practice. So there's going to be a lot of heart opening. This is a practice that may actually evoke a lot of emotions. Who knows? I might cry too. <laughs> um, because when the heart space is opened, like literally the physical heart, the energetic and emotional release that you'll feel during it might might just come out and flow and i want you to really embrace that i really want you to like allow it to happen by focusing on your breath and just breathing into the heart space you'll feel infinitely lighter and just released afterwards because whatever you trap in the heart it's going to block the blood flow which is what the heart's organs for, is blood flow to all of the rest of the organs. So anything you do to the heart is going to benefit the entire system in the body. So because we're gonna do a lot of back bends today with opening the hearts and things like that, we're going to first make sure our spine is aligned. So I want you to get on the floor and begin doing a twist. Lie on, flat on your back, lift your knees up, and let's just do a gentle one today for the starters opening your arms out into a cactus stick your knees together and at the same time just kind of like rock it slowly to the left so you kind of get the twist and then lifting open the left hip and just twist it to the left hand side keeping the knees together at all times we never want our knees to come apart because when they do they misalign our hips and our hips only have five degrees of rotation. 
So it's very easy to get an injury here if you don't keep your knees together. So if you want to lessen this twist, you can bring both the knees down. If you want to increase it, you don't really feel much, you bring it closer to the left armpits. So just opening like this and really pressing on the left elbow and twisting your chest to face the sky some more so that both your nipples are almost like facing the sky and lifting open your chest and just trying to create space between your rib cage and really breathing here. Usually whenever we do back bends, we always want to do a twist to make sure our spine is in alignment when we do it and then afterwards we also want to do a twist because we want to make sure that even whilst we were doing back bends we didn't let any of our discs slip into misalignment so back bends are usually a type of movement that we don't do naturally in any um activities in our regular life so it, it can be very um, triggering for some people whenever you're ready squeezing your stomach keeping the knees together you help it using your left hand to help it back to center and just rock from side to side rocking from left to right And whenever you're ready, opening up the cactus, cactus arms again, kind of lifting up the right hip and then moving it over to the right hand side. Again, adjusting your feet to see if you need to go lower together, the knees together, go move it lower down or higher up, depending on how much you feel in this posture. And really begin to focus on your breath here. And seeing if we can bring that single pointed, that singleness in our breath into this moment as we do this posture. And our focus and vision on God in this space. As your rib cage, the structural area around your heart is being stretched. It's kind of preparing for the heart itself to also go into expansion. Engage your stomach, take your right arm down, help both the knees up back to center and rock from side to side. Whenever you're ready, bringing both the feet, like bending it up to the sky, like into happy baby, grabbing the toes and just rocking from side to side. You can bend your feet down so you can allow your back to be massaged on the floor flat. So you'll get like a nice release there. Whenever you're ready, coming into a seated posture, we're going to do our first mudra of the day. So the first mudra that we're going to do is Hridaya mudra, and we're going to get our right palm, and we're going to kind of leave it into a hollow and place it on top of our heart on our left side, and then using our left hand to kind of also cup it onto the right hand side. And here we're just going to connect with our heart 
for a second. This is the gesture of the spiritual heart. And what this does is the core quality is seeking refuge, divine refuge. So the affirmations for this is, and you can repeat after me, as I open to grace in challenging times, I receive the full support of the divine. As I open to grace in challenging times, I receive the full support of the divine. As I open to grace in challenging times, I receive the full support of the divine. As I open to grace in challenging times, I receive the full support of the divine. So whenever you're ready, just dropping your hands down. And let's come on to our stomachs. So come into a tabletop position, just slowly lower your body down, keeping your pelvis like flat onto the ground, really almost like dig it into the ground here. And then bringing your arms to your side into sphinx pose. So your elbows are directly under your shoulders and you're really using your palms to like press into the ground to lift your chest up and open and opening your shoulders, not collapsing like this, but really lifting up. So you should be feeling a lot of intensity in the mid back where your kidneys are because this just provides like an excellent like bend right there. And relaxing your butt cheeks here. Sometimes we can tense it up. And just really opening our chest here and just breathing, really pressing into our elbows, lifting tall and high. And we can use actually the backs of our feet to kind of press into the ground to activate our thighs as well, but really relaxing our butt cheeks, making sure that our legs are activated, but our butt cheeks are relaxed. Whenever you're ready, just place um, the palms on top of each other, uh, forehead on top of the palms, and then just wiggle your, your hips left and right. It's really surprising how these back bends are, they seem really small. They don't look like a lot of movements, but it's actually like really intense and hardcore for the body. So I want you to really use the spaces in between each posture to really ring out, really wiggle out any tension that was built so that between each, each posture, we're, we're allowing our spine to like really relax here. And over here, you can realize um, as you're wiggling left and right, you can see kind of if your hips are balanced or if your pelvic bone is like pressed too much into the ground on one side or it's like slightly tilted. It might be a good indication for you to go get an adjustment for your hips um, and your legs because it really makes a huge difference to your posture and your alignment and also any pain that you might have in either your ankles, your knees, your toes, your shoulders, or your neck. It's all like related to each other. And it can even be things that go all the way down to your arms and wrists. And so, yeah. So taking the hands close to the chest area and really squeezing the um, elbows 
to your chest and like press it down and really almost like cup the the floor with your hand like suction it like really like suction the fingertips down into the floor and then on the next inhale i want you to rise up halfway so half um baby cobra here and we're just going to relax and our bottom our mid back should be burning right now and our arms should be a little intense but it should also our back should be lifting up enough where if we were to remove our hands from the ground we could probably do it but we really need to lift up and really push your pelvis into the ground and try to relax your butt cheeks as much as you can. And whenever you're ready, just dropping down again. So hands again, forehead on the, and just shake it out. Really relax your breath, lift down any sighs, like really let it go. We want to make sure that in between each posture, we're really, really letting it go because each one is going to build in terms of intensity. So we want to make sure that each of that, each of those are like really, um, we really allow ourselves to rest in between. Keeping our mouth closed and just really breathing from our nose to allow for that oxygen to really be heated, be filtered, um, and be moisturized before it goes into our body. So it really acclimates it, but when we breathe through our mouth, we don't provide any filtration, heating, or moisturizing. And in fact, we might actually feel like we have really dry uh, mouth because we lose about 42% of our liquid or water in our mouth when we breathe through our mouth. So bringing the arms again at the same placement that we had before, bringing the elbows really tight to your rib cage, like really tight and down. So it's not like lifting up like this, but it's really tight and down. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it really tight pushing into suctioning, using our hands to suction the floor. And this time we're gonna inhale and go all the way up with straight arms. So really lift up. And I want you to notice how your wrists feel here. And if they feel a little bit intense, you can come onto your um, fists and it might be a little bit taller for your hips. It might be an even more enjoyable stretch. And just really allow for your um, hips to really be relaxed here and really keeping your chest open, your shoulders open and face, face, facing forward and just allowing you also get like a great, um, stomach massage. So if you were just doing any, um, sit-ups, you will get like a nice relief here, really relaxing your butt cheeks so that they just like kind of collapse down. And just keep here for five, four, three, two, one. And then bending your elbows, coming down, placing your hands in front of your face and then rocking from side to side and just place your forehead on your hands. Heart is really a space where even though we keep God in, our, in the center of our hearts, God is really unknowable. So it's really kind of being comfortable with never being ever able to know your creator or 
the core center of your being because it's so mysterious and it's any mind that has ever tried to understand it has never succeeded but in yoga it says that you can experience god but as soon as you talk about it you're far away from it from the actual experience so in the last posture where we're really almost going to open the heart and we're going to do this in two stages okay we're really going to try to experience and focus that unknowable essence in the center of our heart so i want you to bend your knees towards your buttocks and here i want you to you reach back and grab your the back of your feet both sides and i want you to if here if you're here and your knees are going apart squeeze them together squeeze them together bring it close together and we're just going to do a little we're just going to stay here this is the first move here and just see how you feel here where you're kind of lifted but you're not lifted all the way okay and just see how you feel here so we're going to get used to this for a little bit and just kind of see like a little stretch on our calves on our um on our thighs and kind of just like opening like baby opening the chest and then relax your feet back down and just put your ha um, hands in front of your face and uh, forehead on your arms then just rock from side to side again we're going to slowly the next posture we're going to move into um upside down wheel um, basically if we were to do a wheel but on the opposite direction okay so now stopping your shaking bringing the knees closer together, like almost feet and ankles and even the knuckles between your ankles, like trying to get them to touch each other, like really squeezing open your legs, okay? Bending the knees towards your buttocks and then lifting and kind of reaching towards your feet, trying to grab it. So trying to keep the knees still together. And what we're gonna do here is we're going to lift our feet and kind of like Actually, we can grab our ankles. Let's get a little lower here and flex our feet. So it's like flat. And now I want you to lift up your feet to the sky and your knees so that you're kind of like going into a wheel. So lifting up and really extend the feet upwards. So you're really only balancing on your pelvis and your stomach. And you can like rock a little bit forward and back to see, to get adjusted. And whenever you're ready, relaxing it back down, hands forward, place your forehead onto your arms and just relax. Woo, that was a big posture. <laughs> Hopefully you're feeling a little sweaty as I am and you're really opening learning <laughs> that unknowable essence that exists in the center of our heart and just focusing as you're relaxing your hips bring your attention to your heart and just notice to see if you have any sensations going on there <clears throat> Whenever you're ready, bringing the legs again closer together, ankles touching, the ankle little bones are touching, bending both the feet towards your buttocks. We're going to do that posture one more time. This time we can grab our feet or our ankles, whichever you feel comfortable and you feel more stable. 
keeping squeezing the knees together as much as possible and then I want you to lift up as much as you can and balance on the pelvic bone and really focus on your breath here never sustaining um, the breath bringing the shoulder blades closer together to open the chest up and really lift your feet up 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 and then relax down and forehead on the hands and just relax your hips Whenever you're ready, um, bring your hands into like in front of you and just shift your weight back into child's pose. And just bring your forehead down and just relax here. Stretching out the arms as, as far as you can to really allow that um, stretch on your spine, you'll feel a really nice relief on the lower back. And almost like pushing your palms forward and down so you can sit your hips down even further. Whenever you're ready, bringing the palms closer to your face and your knees, slowly sit into a comfortable seated posture at the center of your mat. And let's just center ourselves here. We just did a lot of deep postures. Just sitting and just reacquainting ourselves with our bodies. Our bodies are not the same body that we started with. <laughs> Your body will probably tell you that itself. <laughs> We're just really connecting with your breath here. Hands on your knees and really just stabilizing yourself. Allowing your sit bones to touch the ground, maybe even lifting up your the flesh on your sit bones so that your bones feel really stable in this posture. And lean back a little bit so that your sit bones, heart, and head are all in one line. You kind of have to use your, your stomach muscles to balance. It's not easy to just keep your spine straight. Okay, we're going to do the Karuna Mudra. The way you do the Karuna Mudra is you kind of cup your left hand and face it towards yourself. And then you get your right hand and you want to place it, the index finger, like at the bottom, like almost at the thumb area here. And just kind of cup it like this, like so. So you kind of have like two cups of hands and like half cupped to each other. And this is the gesture of compassion. So the core quality of this is compassion. And usually where does compassion come from in our bodies, our hearts. So in this area, like we place it like same level to our hearts and just close your eyes and begin feeling what sensations you feel as you do this posture. You can repeat that affirmations after me. Through the eyes of the heart, 
I clearly see that all beings seek happiness from freedom and suffering. Through the eyes of the heart, I clearly see that all beings seek happiness and freedom from suffering. Through the eyes of the heart, I clearly see that all beings seek happiness and freedom from suffering. So the last line is, seek happiness and freedom from suffering. Whenever you're ready, just feel the sensations in your body and your heart. Whenever you're ready, just relaxing your palms on top of your knees. And just see how your heart feels here. Whenever you're ready, coming onto your back and let's get into a, a half bridge. So feet flat on the ground, kind of hip distance apart with the knees and just allow, just bring your knees actually towards your chest and just kind of rock from side to side. The back probably needs like a little massage. <laughs> And then just rock it in a circle, like put your hands on your knees and draw circles with the back of your hands on the ceiling, like really massaging the lower back and the upper back. So whenever you're ready, place the feet flat onto the ground both hands on either side and I want you to kind of like reach for your toes and so your hands should be touching your ankles okay so in this posture here uh, we're going to lift our hips up and kind of level it with our knees so that our hips are all the way up and are almost like we're balancing on our neck the backs of our neck and we I want you I would just like you to feel how this feels. Really pressing into the feet. So your feet should be at a 90 degree angle. Bring it even closer to your um, buttocks if you like. And try to relax the buttocks area and really lift it up. And just relax down here. And bring the feet to the chest and just rock from side to side again. Really relaxing that area. And so what we were doing before in the postures, we were opening our heart whilst our face was facing downwards to the ground. And then we were back bending, creating like an arc and a shape with our backs. Now our face is going to be facing the roof, the ceiling, and our backs are going to be facing the floor. And we're going to be creating shapes, the same shapes, but opposite direction. And so what it requires, um, what we did before is our balance is on our pelvis. That's where we could create those kind of shapes. But now our balance is basically being on our hands and our feet so that our pelvic bones is basically getting a relief. So putting our feet flat on the ground again, hands reaching our toes again. Okay, so hands by your toes and really place your hands like face down onto the ground. Okay, and then lift up 
lift your hips up, pelvic up, up, up. And then here, I want you to grab your palms um, underneath your, your buttocks and shimmy your shoulders. So you're actually just on your head right now, on the back of your head and really bring the palms close together. So you're touching the palms and really squeezing the shoulder blades in and lifting the pelvic up, 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 pressing into the floor and lifting your buttocks up. Trying to relax your butt cheeks as you move up. And whenever you're ready, unclasp your hands, relax your hips down. And then bring your knees to your chest and just rocking from side to side. You might be feeling a lot of sensations in the lower back area. So really work in circles like massage, create circles on the roof with the back of your hands and do it in the opposite direction, really making sure your butt cheeks and your lower hip area is really relaxing here. Let any big sighs out of any tension that might be relieved in this. So here, place the feet flat again. And here we're gonna go into a wheel. If you're not comfortable with this posture, you might just go back into a bridge that we just did. But if you're ready to just see, explore your body to see if, if you'd be able to do this posture, we're going to bring our palms facing upwards flat and, and bend your arms backwards. And we're gonna place it by our ears and like really plant our our palms on on the ground and we want to see how this makes us feel on the wrist area if it's making us feel a little bit of tension maybe we don't want to do this and really allow for the elbows to be pressing um facing towards the ceiling here so you our feet want to be close enough so moving our hands down also touching our feet being able to touch it hands forward back keeping the knees, uh, the elbows together, we want to first come onto our head, balance on top of our head first, lift up, okay, and adjust your hands, really keeping the elbows together, okay, and this might just be where you want to stay at, and you don't want to go any further. But if you're ready, you can try to straighten out your arms and see how it feels here. And whenever you're ready, we come out at the same place. We bring our heads down first, elbows down, and then kind of relax out. And then move from side to side. We can bring our knees closer to our chest and just see how that feels. And move left and right. That's usually a really big posture for me because my wrists don't like to bend that way. But we might even be able to do it with our fists. We can even try that too. For some of you that it doesn't really feel great on your wrists, but it does feel fantastic on your heart. So that might be another option, but there's so many ways to get into this posture. You could like even do it against the wall um, so that your wrists are not like moving. So let's try this again, hands back, palms on the ground. You can try to get onto your fists if you want here. First, we lift, really planting the feet strong and stable. Move your hands down so you can touch your ankles so it's really close together arms down and over. And so keeping the elbows tight and not open flaky. So we wanna press into our palms or our fists and come onto our heads. 
Okay, and really get onto the top of your head and, and really relax your, your legs here. And whenever you're ready, we can push up and lift up. And then coming back down, bending your arms, head down, relax, bending your knees, and just kind of slide down. Allow yourself to come back to center. And whenever you're ready, bring your knees in your chest and even hug your knees and just rock from side to side. That was really big. <laughs> For some people, this might be really huge. Other people, this is like their favorite posture and they get into it all the time. For me, this is only when I feel a lot of grief in my heart and I can't get the stuffiness out that I'll go into this posture and maybe risk a little bit of my wrist. But sometimes I just went into it in my fist and it felt like a lot better. So actually, we could even try that at home instead of going on top of our on our fists on our wrists which might not feel great for some people coming onto our fists is actually something you could still do and your heart actually um gets a bigger release i'm pretty sure i lifted higher like a significant bunch the second time <laughs> maybe it was just because it was the second time but also i think the the height of the wrist was also there whenever you're high your arms are higher your chest gets like more more of a stretch so you could try that too even if your wrists are fine you could try going on your fist just to create some more height so that your chest can open out more whenever you're ready bringing the feet flat on the ground we're going to end with a twist so bringing our feet on the ground, crossing the right foot on top of the left, cactus arms out, and just drop the left leg down. And try to twist your upper body towards the ceiling. And focus on your breath here. And then slowly come back into center. And just windshield wipe your knees left and right. Massaging your lower back and relieving it. And whenever you're ready, coming back to center. And then crossing the left leg on top of the right and shifting it over to the right hand side you can place your hands on your knees to keep it flat and just begin focusing on your breath here
So whenever you're ready, coming back to center. And just windshield wiping your knees from left to right. Whenever you're ready, slowly turn to your left hand side and then just prop yourself up into a seated position. So we're going to do Purna Hridaya Mudra and it's basically, I'm sure you know this, it's just bringing your fingertips together and your thumbs down and placing it in front of your heart. So it's basically just like a heart mudra here and this is the gesture of the open heart. This is like about honoring thoughts and feelings. So the affirmations for the Purna Hridaya Mudra is the following. You can close your eyes and just repeat after me. Through welcoming thoughts and feelings, through welcoming thoughts and feelings, I fully embrace my psycho-emotional being. I fully embrace my psycho-emotional being. Through welcoming thoughts and feelings, I fully embrace my psycho-emotional being. I fully embrace my psycho-emotional being. Relaxing your hands down on your knees and just see how your heart space feels right now. It might feel a little bit tender, a little bit raw. Just going to allow it to just blossom open as it will. And just focus on our heart, our breath on our heart space. Just oxygenate it or just allow for its blossoming to just continue. Whenever you're ready, get a blanket. We're gonna start our yoga nidra practice. Just lie flat down and just also keep your focus on your heart as we do this. Lie down on your back and get into a comfortable posture with a blanket on top of you. Remain in complete stillness for the remaining meditation. You may make your final adjustments now. In this meditation, rotate your attention towards different parts of your body and repeat silently in your mind the greatest name, Alahuapa, as guided. Feel the vibrational sound of this sacred phrase reverberate in each part of your body, which will be repeated a total number of 285 times, equivalent three times 95 times. Three is numerically significant because all things brought into creation requires three things. For example, a mother, a father, and baby. With the three times of repetition, we hope the creative power of the greatest name, Alahuapa, be made manifest within you. 95 is numerically significant in the Baha'i faith as it represents saying it for the sake of God, Illa. Refer to our Bicentenary Meditation Project blog for more information on the greatest name, Close your eyes and bring your attention to your body. Focus on your inhales and focus on your exhales. 
completely dropping any tension you have remaining in your body. Feel your body become really heavy. Bring your awareness to the right hand thumb. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Index finger. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Middle finger. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Ring finger. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Little finger. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Palm of the hand. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Back of the hand. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Wrist. All sides. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Lower arm. All sides. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Elbow. All sides. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Upper arm. All sides. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Shoulder, all sides. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Right side of the waist. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Hip. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Thigh. All sides. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Knee. All sides. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Lower leg, all sides. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Ankle, all sides. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Heel. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Sole of the foot. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Top of the foot. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Right big toe. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Second toe. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Third toe. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. 
I love Huan Pong. Fourth toe. I love Huan Pong. I love Huan Pong. I love Huan Pong. Fifth toe. I love Huan Pong. I love Huan Pong. I love Huan Pong. Bring your awareness to the left hand and continue to repeat the sacred phrase, Alahuapa, along with the repetition in your mind and feel its vibration on the following areas of the body. Left hand thumb, Alahuapa, Alahuapa, Alahuapa. Index finger, Alahuapa. Alahuapa, Alahuapa. Middle finger, Alahuapa, Alahuapa, Alahuapa. Ring finger, Alahuapa, Alahuapa, Alahuapa. Little finger, Alahuapa. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Palm of the hand. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Back of the hand. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Wrist. All sides. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Lower arm, all sides. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Elbow, all sides. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Upper arm, all sides. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Shoulder, all sides. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Left side of the waist. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Hip. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Thigh. All sides. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Knee. All sides. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Lower leg, all sides. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Ankle, all sides. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Heel. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Sole of the foot. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Top of the foot. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Left big toe. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Second toe. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Third toe. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. Alahua pa. 
Fourth tone. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Fifth tone. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Bring your awareness to the top of the head and continue to repeat the sacred phrase Allahu Akbar along with the repetition silently in your mind and feel its vibration on the following areas of the body. Top of the head, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Forehead, all around, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Right eyebrow. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Left eyebrow. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Eyebrow center. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Right eye, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Left eye, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Right temple, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Left temple. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Right ear. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Left ear. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Right cheek. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Left cheek. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Nose. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Upper lip. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Lower lip. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Teeth. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Chin. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Front of the neck. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Heart center. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Rib cage. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Upper abdomen. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Navel center. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Lower abdomen. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Pelvis. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Bring your awareness to the back side of the body 
and continue to repeat the sacred phrase, Allahu Akbar, along with the repetition, silently in your mind, and feel its vibration on the following areas of the body. Sit bones. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Low back. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Mid back. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Upper back. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. The whole spine. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Back of the neck. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Back of the head. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Top of the head. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Bring awareness to the right side of the body. Bring awareness to the right side of the body. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Now the left side of the body. Now the left side of the body. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Front of the body. Front of the body. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Back of the body. Back of the body. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. And now the whole body. The whole body. The whole body. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Feel your entire body vibrating and pulsating with the sound Allahu Akbar. 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 Feel your vibration intensify and expand outwards to touch the surfaces around and beyond. Bringing your attention back to your breath. Focusing on the inhales and on the exhales on your heart. Begin rotating your wrists and your ankles. Bending the feet flat on the ground, hands over your head. Give it like a nice stretch. Whenever you're ready, turn onto your right hand side. and push yourself up into a comfortable seated posture.
keeping your eyes closed and hands on your knees. Let's do our final hand mudra, bringing the palm of our hands together in front of our chest. And just keep the pinkies and the thumbs touching and open the center fingers like a flower. It's like a lotus flower. And leave it open in the front of your chest. This is Padma Mudra, gesture of the lotus. The core quality is unconditional love. And the affirmation for this mudra is Nurturing the garden of my heart. Allows for the blessings of unconditional love. Nurturing the garden of my heart. Allows for the blossoming of unconditional love. Nurturing the garden of my heart allows for the blossoming of unconditional love. Whenever you're ready, closing the palms in front of your chest and then bring it to your third eye. May your thoughts, and then take it down to your lips, may your words, and then take it down back to your heart. So may your heart's intentions all be aligned into one. Thank you for joining me in today's practice. Namaste. So that was our Valley of Unity and Heart Chakra series. I hope you guys enjoy that. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of it, how you're feeling now, um, if there's something that you would like to know more about, and if there's anything, you're welcome to leave it in the comments below. would love to know how you feel. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful uh, day and join me tomorrow or next week for the next Valley. See you guys.